welcome back to my channel today i will be explaining the step by step process of nsa registration so which is very important for students and professionals who are entering in the it industry so if you are prepare, preparing for joining infosys wipro tcs or similar companies so this video is for you so in this video let's see the registration process for nsa go to the official nsa website and the link is provided in the description go and check it you can find a screen like this click on register now link to open the next page so in the next page you are going to enter your personal information so which is your full name and also be ready with the pan card and enter your pan card number here and enter your email id and click on send otp you will be given otp in the email id so verify it and also enter your mobile number and send the otp and verify your mobile number and enter your login id so which is your email id and here give your login password and confirm the password create a password and after that enter the captcha code check this box later click on the next button you will be directed to the next page so in the next page you are going to see your acknowledgement number so please note this acknowledgement number which is used further and later click on the next button in the next page you can find a screen like this so remember if you are already employed or experienced candidate please select my present employer if you are a fresher who are going to join the company soon then click on my future employee tab and here you are going to employ your company name which is a list and here you are going to enter your offer letter id so it will be present in your offer letter on the top left corner maybe so check it and enter your offer letter id and later click on proceed so in the next step you are going to see a screen like this which is a kyc method so among the three kyc methods so uh, prefer digi locker first which is very easy process so after selecting the digi locker you can be directed to the next page just click on proceed in the next page you are going to see digi locker page so here please enter your aadhar number and also the captcha shown here click on next and here enter the otp which is sent to the mobile number which is linked with your aadhar so make sure your mobile and aadhar should be linked so it can be used for further more process so enter the otp here and click on continue here in the next page enter your six digit security pin uh, of the digi locker and click on continue click hello before clicking hello select Uh, what are the documents you are going to access so just click on aadhar and pan card if available and click on allow you will see a page like this so based on your dg locker details it will generate a card like this with all the details and address so just enter the name which is as per your aadhar and also upload your pan card image uh, the front side of your pan card image and your recent photo choose a photo and click on submit after submitting you will you will find a page like this so enter all the details father's name mother's name and the nationality and also if the passport is already there with you uh, please fill out this details and if the, if you didn't have your passport then it's not a problem you can skip this passport details and click on proceed later it will ask for the address details so enter your address all the details here so in the academic qualification session enter your 10th ssc details and also intermediate or diploma details here so if you are diploma please uh, check the list here and uh, you can also add your btech details by clicking add more qualification and if not it's not a problem you can also continue with 10th and inter details click on proceed and you can leave this professional qualification session just click and click on proceed you can also skip this technical qualification section click on so you are going to see two types of questions which is are you currently employed uh, so if you are a fresher who is who are going to join soon then just keep no and all these things will be disappear and if you are do you have experience just keep no so now you are going to see a summary registration details page so here just click on this plus symbol and you can find the details which are given by you previously so just check all your details here and if you feel there is any correction just click on modify and go back and correct your details 
if you think everything is okay then click on proceed to pay here you will be showing three payment options like three plans so as a fresher the basic plan is enough which is of 400 plus gst and the final amount can be shown in the last step so select the basic plan and click i agree and proceed later you will see a page like this so the final amount you are going to pay is 472 so here there are multiple payment options so if you are choosing net banking select your bank and proceed pay and if you are choosing your upi payment uh, it will be asking vpa address so vpa address uh, is nothing but the upi id which can be find from your phone pay paytm or gpay profiles so that is the upi id so vpa is nothing but upi id it will be something like your name at the date and the uh, account name so just go through your phone pay upi id and you can enter the same click on pay now so for upi payment uh, it will send you a message like requesting for the payment amount click on the link in the message and accept the request and then the payment will be done after the payment you will see a page like this and your registration is successful now note your acknowledgement number and keep it with you remember your it pin generation uh, will be in process and your it pin will be available to you by two days through your message or email id so thank you for watching the video stay tuned for more career tech related videos subscribe and like if you have any other further doubts please comment down and i will be replying to the your comments